Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe. Skill trees contains a set of skills and abilities, and they can be displayed in a branching path on our UI canvas. Skills in the trees open up after completing required missions or receiving enough skill points. In the last episode, I have introduced one of the basic skill trees on Unity. Today, we will have a look at another type of skill trees. The idea of the skill trees comes from the Diablo 2, which is one of the best games in game history. Here is my workflow on the skill trees. In the beginning, we have think about what kind of information our ability will have. I create one C-sharp script manage all of the attributes of the ability. We need the ability name, ability sprite, ability descriptions, etc. If some new attributes needed to be added later, we can of course always go back and manually declare on here. For example, later we will add a boolean variables and a certain ability type array. Our first step in here is make a blueprint. Then let's use several temporary UI images to represent our ability buttons. After making sure our project can work perfect, I will focus on the graphics. Don't waste so much time on selecting beautiful image at the beginning, although I also care about the game graphic. We need to make sure that each UI image is one ability button. Each time when we click this ability, actually, we are pressing one button, and this button call one particular method for us. We create one new C-sharp script and finish our right UI panel. Inside the ability button script, we want our right panel can display different information correspond to each ability information. We have to connect the UI elements with each ability's detail information. Each ability information will be added on the inspector. Now, we have completed the first stage. We can display the detail information when we press each ability button. Another important trick that I have used in this script. We want to keep track of the activating button when we press each time. In our case, we want to make it visible in the inspector. This variable is so significant in our case, because several following methods are corresponds to this variable. Also, I have store all of the ability buttons and their information to our ability manager script. You can consider it as a game manager script, which we talked about before. By the way, I have implemented a singleton pattern in our ability manager script for global access. Then, we have to think about how to unlock several higher abilities. Now, all of abilities display on our screen. Remember, we have declared the boolean type variables called is upgrade before. We can use if statements to deal with them. Since there are several paths to restrain our players to choose their abilities, each skill actually depends on his previous abilities. If their previous abilities are locked, we cannot upgrade or unlock the activating button. We cannot upgrade or unlock the activating buttons. We use ability type array to store all of the previous abilities and drag their previous abilities on the inspector. After that, we can create the reset button. But we have to consider which variables should be clear when we press this button. Then, I'm going to open the Adobe Illustrator and create one simple map. Also, you can assign this work to your artist. I just use several vertical lines to make one simple skill map background. In here, I drag the map image to our UI canvas and adjust our ability button's position. Also, you can use the layout group component or other methods in order to make your game look more standard. Then, I add more features on our skill tree. I add one rectangular to represent our ability level. We want our abilities can level up when we press the button each time. We can first test whether our level text will be displayed on the screen. When we press the ability button, our ability level will be increased, but sometimes errors will appear because we ignore some conditions. At the beginning of the game, we did not have the activate button where the script still want to access it. So we have to consider more possibilities when we launch the scene. 
Inside each script, we try to find and fix each potential mistakes in order to avoid it many errors. Then, I change the map to make it clean. I want our right panel display default information at the beginning of the game. Also, the default information will be displayed when we press the reset button. The first two skills are transformed as the default abilities. They don't have any levels but can be checked on the right panel. Finally, I choose one background image. The graphics depends on your imagination. At the end of the game, I add some prompt text for the player. It looks so easy but when you implement this part, you have to change your logic in many places. I plan to make the skill trace as a serious tutorial on this week, so these videos can be looked at an overview of the workflow on the skill trace. Also, I have published another type of skill trace on my channel. Both of these two videos have the same idea. In our case, 80% of the image come from the Unity Asset Store. Other image, I made it by the Adobe Illustrator, so feel free and check them out. I plan to use 3 or 4 videos to talk about the series of the skill tree. I really hope this workflow on skill trees enhance your experience and I can't wait to start this series. Stay tuned for next updates from my channel. Alright, this is the end of this video. If you want to learn more Unity series tutorials, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and game design, you can click my profile and subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hope smash the likes and subscribe button. I'm also looking forward to hear what you are thinking about. You can leave the comments and let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next time.